My name's Jeff. I'm co-owner at Block 8 in the Hunter Valley with my partner Todd. Um, on a visit to the Barossa Valley, uh, me and Todd decided that uh, we could do a better job at the B&B that we were staying in at the time. And we also wanted to get away from the corporate world and be our own boss and have a bit more space, less neighbours. So we decided to go on the hunt for the perfect property and three years after the start of that hunt, we found Block 8 and here we are. Um, when we first came here, there was uh, vineyards and olives and we didn't really know what to do with them. So we just went on a really steep learning curve to get up to scratch with everything we needed to do and we're now in our third vintage. Uh, when we first got here, there was a house and a big machinery shed. Um, there was only one road into the property and the vineyard was pretty run down. Uh, so the, the animals come a little bit later. We decided that we needed chickens because we needed to give the, give the guests fresh eggs. And then the ducks come because we thought they would look really good on the lake. And then the pigs come because a friend of ours decided it would be a great idea to have a pig. So that same day we went out and we bought two pigs, Billy and Rodney, and they have grown about 10 times the size of what they originally were and they are still growing. Uh, my favourite part about working here is the fact that I don't have a boss to answer to and I can um, design little bits of garden, I can decide on how something's going to look without having to consult um, and just go ahead and build it or do it basically. Um, there's many favourite parts of being at Block 8, I mean it's, it's all so varied that every day can be different. Just from, you know, working down at the dam or if you whippersnip the olives, you're in that serene area where there's kangaroos just lazing around and there's just a million places that I guess we've not even discovered. It's always a bit nerve-wracking when you dive into a situation where you, you're heavily financially into it. Um, so it was a bit nerve-wracking but when there's two of you, it's much easier than just being one. So we just went ahead and just carried on doing whatever we needed to do to get to where we wanted to be. So, you know, it's not always easy, but then life easy is not always great.